At an ancient crossroads approximately 70 kilometers from Siem Reap lies a lost jungle temple that dates to the early 12th century. It was first stumbled upon by French explorers 700 years later. We're on the road less traveled, and this is Bang Nair Lea. While visiting Cambodia, I wanted to seek out a quiet, lesser-known corner of history to explore, and Bang Mae Alea was exactly what I was hoping for. For my transportation out there, I made arrangements with Asian Trails, an excellent tour company based in Siem Reap. They specialize in customizing itineraries that work for the individual traveler. My driver, Sotir, who made this a day to remember, prepped me for my exploration, and I was off. You know, I had considered taking a tuk-tuk out here, but the people at Asian Trails suggested I take a car, and I'm glad I took them up on it because this would have been a long, hard ride out here in a tuk-tuk. It might have been a little bit less expensive, but boy, it would not have been worth it. As I headed off in the early morning heat, I knew I'd made the right choice. The approach to the temple is surreal, a pile of graceful rubble that lets you know you're in for something special. Bang Mealea translates as Lotus Pond, and many scholars believe it predates the main temples at Angkor Wat by as many as a hundred years. And as you descend into its dark and mysterious hallways, the spirits of a thousand years seem to echo off the walls. It's the perfect place to imagine what it would feel like to uncover a lost city in the jungle. It's in a total state of ruin, and there's controversy about how it ended up this way. One of the last strongholds of the Khmer Rouge some say they destroyed it before abandoning it around 1980 after heavily mining the area. But written accounts by the early explorers who uncovered it indicate it's been this way for centuries. However it got to this state, it's the perfect place to channel your inner Indiana Jones. I had a blast exploring ancient hallways and crumbling temple walls, clearing cobwebs and crawling into spaces that had been deserted for a long time made history real to the touch. Apsara reliefs are evidence Bang Mealea was constructed around the same time as Angkor Wat, but its less ornate style and specific Hindu carvings are what leads some scholars to theorize that it's older. Among them, the five-headed Nagas guarding the inner east gate that symbolized the Hindu god of nature and water. And a well-preserved depiction of the churning of the sea of milk, when the gods united to churn the oceans in order to render the nectar of mortality and gain eternal life. Shiva performing the cosmic dance that destroyed a weary universe to make way for the process of creation. The atmosphere at Bang Mealea allows you to step back in time and experience what it must have been like when those first explorers crept out of the surrounding jungle and came upon this staggering representation of ancient Eastern culture. In my opinion, it's what makes this site almost mandatory for any traveler to the area. If you only have one day in Siem Reap and can only go to one temple, I would be tempted to say skip Angkor Wat and come to Bang Mealea. But keep in mind, I'm on the road less traveled. So many iconic destinations have difficulty living up to the hype when you finally reach them. And that's why I often like to go left when most others go right. And that's when the road less traveled can lead you to a place like Bang Mealea.